So what we're talking about here is Mercedes-Benz making an additional 3 billion rand investment in its East London manufacturing plant. Now this takes the company's total investment in the country since 2018 to 13 billion rand. Now the car manufacturer made the announcement while rolling off its first locally made new generation of C-Class. ENCA business editor Devin Morrigan has more on that story. Built with Eastern Cape hands, the first new generation C-Class rolls off the production line and is now customer ready. Mercedes-Benz operations here in East London started way back in 1954. It's now one of three international Daimler plants manufacturing the current generation of the C-Class. The new model, which created 600 new jobs, will leave this plant and is destined for more than 80 countries across the world. But having produced 650,000 units of the previous C-Class, how does the plant's success help the province with the highest unemployment rate in the country? When we started our business here with the C-Class, that is uh, more than 20 years ago, so we started with two, supply, two, so, two local suppliers here in the East London IDZ. Now we are talking about uh, more than uh, 40 suppliers that are located in, in the East London IDZ. But as is the case with other manufacturers, the full potential is being held back by erratic power supply and congested ports. We need to think bold and it means tackling the port challenge and the port challenge basically requires very significant new investment in uh, both physical infrastructure and systems and we have inside Transnet now a strategic vision about what they want to do. Unions have full praise for the Mercedes-Benz latest feat but they say there's an opportunity for broader ownership empowerment in the industry. Why would we not set up a company that supply components for all these companies, Mercedes-Benz, VW, and uh, you can name them, which is owned, where workers would have shares, individuals who are black can invest in that particular company. And turning to carbon footprints, the Mercedes-Benz plant is expected to be 100% green ready by the end of next year. David Murrigan, East London.